Good morning. Today is May the 12th. We are in the One Year Bible, the entire King James Version, arranged in 365 daily readings. May 12th, 1 Samuel, chapter 12, verse 1, through chapter 13, verse 23. And Samuel said unto all Israel, Behold, I have hearkened unto your voice, and all that ye said unto me, and have made a king over you. And now, behold, the king walketh before you. And I am old and gray-headed, and behold, my sons are with you. And I have walked before you from my childhood unto this day. Behold, here I am, witness against me before the Lord. And before his anointed, whose ox have I taken, or whose ass have I taken, or whom have I defrauded, whom have I oppressed, or of whom have, of uh, whose hand have I received any bribe to blind men, men's eyes, to blind mine eyes therewith, and I will restore it you. And they said, Thou hast not defrauded us, nor oppressed us, neither hast thou taken out aught of any man's hand. And he said unto them, The Lord is witness against you, and his anointed is witness this day, that ye have not found aught in my hand. And they answered, He is witness. And Samuel said unto the people, It is the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron, and that brought your fathers up out of the land of Egypt. Now therefore stand still, that I may reason with you before the Lord of all the righteous acts of the Lord, which he did to you and to your fathers. When Jacob was come into Egypt, and your fathers cried unto the, unto the Lord, then the Lord sent Moses and Aaron, which brought forth your fathers out of Egypt, and made them dwell in this place. And when they forget their Lord, their God, he sold them into the hand of Sesera, captain of the host of Hazar, and into the hand of the Philistines, and into the hand of the king of Moab. And they fought against them. And they cried unto the Lord, and said, We have sinned. Because we have forsaken the Lord, and have served Balaam and Ashtaroth. But now deliver us out of the hand of our enemies, and we will serve thee. And the Lord sent Jeroboam, and Bidan, and Jephthah, and Samuel, and delivered you out of the hand of your enemies on every side. And ye dwelled saved. And when ye saw that Nahash, the king of the children of Ammon, came against you, ye said unto me, Nay, but a king shall reign over us when the Lord your God was your king. Now therefore, behold, the king whom ye have chosen, and whom ye have desired, and behold, the Lord hath set a king over you. If ye will fear the Lord, and serve him, and obey his voice, and not rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall both ye and also the king that reigneth over you continue following the Lord your God. But if ye will not obey the voice of the Lord, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord, then shall the hand of the Lord be against you, as it was against your fathers. Now therefore stand, and see this great thing, which the Lord will do before your eyes. It is not what, it, it is not wheat harvest today. I will call unto the Lord, and he shall send thunder and rain, that ye may perceive and see that your wickedness is great, which ye have done in the sight of the Lord, in asking you a king. So Samuel called unto the Lord, and the Lord sent thunder and rain that day. And all the people greatly feared the Lord and Samuel. And all the people said unto Samuel, Pray for thy servants unto the Lord, thy God, that we die not. For we have added unto all of our sins this evil, to ask us a king. And Samuel said unto the people, Fear not, ye have done all this wickedness. Yet turn not aside from following the Lord, but serve the Lord with all your heart. And turn ye not aside, for then should ye go after vain things, which cannot profit nor deliver, for they are vain. For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake, because it hath pleased the Lord to make you his people. Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. But I will teach you the good and the right way. Only fear the Lord and serve him in truth with all your heart. For consider how great things he hath done for you. But if ye shall still do wickedly, ye shall be consumed, both ye and your king. 
Saul reigned one year, and when he reigned two years over Israel, Saul chose him three thousand men of Israel, whereof two thousand were with Saul in Mishmash and in Mount Bethel, and a thousand were with Jonathan in Gabish of Benjamin. And the rest of the people he sent every man to his tent. And Jonathan smote the garrison of the Philistines that was in Geba. And the Philistines heard of it. And Saul blew the trumpet throughout all the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. And all Israel heard that Saul had smitten a garrison of the Philistines, and that Israel also was in abomination with the Philistines. And the people were called together after Saul to giggle. And the Philistines gathered themselves together to fight with Israel. 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and people as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude and they came up and pitched in mismatch eastward from beth -Avon. when the men of Israel saw that they were in a strait for the people were distressed then the people did hide themselves in caves and in thickets and in rocks and in high places and in pits and some of the Hebrews went over Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilad as for Saul, he was yet in Gagal, and all the people followed him trembling. And he tarried seven days, according to the set time that Saul, that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gagal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me, and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of the offering, the burnt offering, an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came, and Saul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And, Saul, and Samuel said, What hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together at Mishmash. Therefore said I, The Philistines will come down now upon me to Gigo, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced myself, therefore, and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people. Because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. And Samuel arose and got, up, and got him up, from Gigal unto Gabesh of Benjamin. And Saul numbered the people that were present with him, about six hundred men. And Saul and Jonathan his son and the people that were present with him abode in Gabesh of Benjamin. But the Philistines encamped in Mishmash. And the spoilers came out of the camp of the Philistines in three companies. One company turned into the way that leadeth to Ophrah unto the land of Shoshoshol. -Sho and another company turned the way to Bethorin, and another company turned to the way of the border that looked to the valley of Zeboin, toward the wilderness. Now there was no smith found throughout all the land of Israel. For the Philistines said, Least the Hebrews make them swords or spears. But all the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen every man his, his share, and his culture, and his axe, and his mat matok. Yet they had a file for the mattox, and for the the cultures and for the folks forks and for the axes and to sharpen the, the gourds so it came to pass in the day of battle that there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people that were with Saul and Jonathan but with Saul and with Jonathan his son was there found and the garrison of the Philistines went out to the passage of the Mishmash John chapter 7, verse, verses 1 through 30. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him, Depart hence, and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh, seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready.
The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. When he said, when he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, Where is he? And there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. For some said, He is a good man. Others said, Nay, but he deceiveth the people. Howbeit no man spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaketh of himself seeketh his own glory, but he that seeketh his, his glory that sent him, the same is true, and no righteousness is in him. No unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keepeth the law? Why go ye about to kill me? The people answered and said, Thou hast a devil who goeth about to kill thee. Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and ye all marvel. Moses therefore gave unto you circumcision, not because it is of Moses, but of the fathers. And ye on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. If a man on the Sabbath day receive circumcision, that the law of Moses should not be broken, are ye angry at me, because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Then said some of them of Judea, Jerusalem, Is not this he who they seek to kill? But lo, he speaketh boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ? Howbeit we know this man whence he is, but when Christ cometh, no man know whence he is. Then cried Jesus in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. And I am not come of myself, but he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. But I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Then they sought to take him, but no man laid, hand, laid hands on him, because his hour was not yet come. Psalm chapter 108, verses 1 through 13. O oh God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and give praise, even with my glory. Awake, psaltery and harp. I myself will awake early. I will praise thee, O Lord, among the people, and I will sing praises unto thee among the nations. For thy mercy is great above the heavens, and thy truth reacheth, reacheth unto the clouds. Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth that thy beloved may be delivered. Save with thy right hand and answer me. God hath spaken, spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will divide Shechem and meet out of the valley of Sukkoth. Gilad is mine. Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of mine head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my washpot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Over... Philistia, Philistia, will I trumpet, will I triumph? Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Wilt not thou, O God, who hast cast us off? And will not thou, O God, go forth with our house? Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Though God, through God, we shall do valiantly, for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Proverbs for today, chapter 15, verse 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perversiveness therein is a breach in the spirit.